Enjoy the concert. Good evening, Cornellians. I'm Jim Mazza, the Associate Vice President for Alumni Affairs, celebrating my 25th reunion with the class of 1988. Welcome home and welcome to Corneliana Night 2013. And before we get started, I want to do one little experiment here. Let's go red. Let's go red. Let's go red. Let's go red. That's pretty good for a start, huh? Thank you. You guys rehearse. So tonight's uh, program is filled with music and recognition. It's one of the traditional programs of this great reunion weekend, and we are very, very glad to see all of you here. In spite of that big dose of Ithaca weather uh, we gave you, sorry about that. Uh, it really, really has been a great, great weekend. Would you agree? Yeah. We, uh, we have a number of Cornellians tuning in from remote locations around the globe. This has been true throughout the weekend. In addition uh, to the crowd here in, in Bailey, uh, which uh, you guys are, you, you'll be rowdy, right? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, there are literally hundreds of other Cornellians tuning in around the globe, and including an overflow crowd in Call Auditorium. So I'd like you to turn to the middle of the room and wave to all of our friends who are tuning in via live stream. Thank you. So this, this weekend has been filled with academic symposia, athletic events, dancing on the Muddy Art Squad, great conversations, and a lot of laughter. Several folks have been posting photos and comments about the weekend uh, using the Cornell Reunion app that many of you downloaded and on Facebook and Twitter. And I'd like to read you a quick sampling of what we uh, received. Here's, here's one that's kind of sweet. This is from Mark Andrew Hemley, who wrote, this is almost haiku-like. Hot truck is on the art squad, officially nostalgic as of now. Isn't that sweet? I love that. This is from Bob uh, Blanco. Uh, Bob, here's your 15 minutes of fame by telling other alumni that I used to work at the Palms, I've transformed myself into a minor celebrity. <laughs> Congratulations, Bob. Uh, this is from somebody using the handle Sky W. I'm not exactly sure who this is, but, uh, and maybe they don't want us to know after you hear this. 2 a.m., locked out of the dorm room in a towel. <laughs> I would just like to know, would Sky like to identify themselves now or later? <laughs> You're one brave man, thank you. <laughs> and, and one final one, I think this one's kind of sweet too, from Dan Kerr. Susan Murphy just complimented my beard. I think I'm keeping it. <laughs> so thanks for all those posts and keep them, uh, keep them coming. Before the music begins, uh, let me take one moment to quickly thank uh, three, three groups of people. Um, and uh, they're, they're really important to us. First of all, I want to thank everyone who volunteers for Cornell in any capacity. You really are our heroes. Thank you very much. It's an amazing, amazing group of people. Secondly, to Vice President Charlie Flager and the amazing staff in Alumni Affairs and Development for all you do at Reunion and throughout the year. Thank you to all of you. And, and finally, to those talented and tireless undergraduate workers, our 100-plus 
Cornell Reunion Clerks. You guys rock. So, it is now my pleasure to introduce John Rowell, who for the past year has served as, as the interim director of choral music here at Cornell. John will be finishing, finishing his doctorate in the next year in music, and we are absolutely thrilled that he is leading the Alumni Glee Club and Chorus in tonight's gathering. John, take it away.
I'm Rob Rosenberg, I'm president of the Cornell Association of Class Officers and a member of the outstanding class of 1988. I'm very excited to be here tonight with our full house here in Valley Hall um, to celebrate with all of those over at Call Auditorium and we're up to 201 people watching by a live webcast. Cornell reunions would never happen without the hard work of many, many people. So to kick things off, if you served on a 2013 reunion planning or campaign committee, or if you're the spouse, the significant other, the roommate of one of these people and have just endured months of big red stuff to lead us to this weekend, please stand up so we can recognize you. Let's stand up. On a related note, I want to recognize my wife, Pat Cook, class of 1989, who's here with us tonight. Without whose tremendous support, I wouldn't be able to do all the stuff I do for Cornell. So thank you, Pat. Among our alumni who are here tonight, there is a group that holds a unique status. These are the alumni who are back for their very first reunion. So whether it's been one year out, five year out, 50 years out, if this is your first Cornell reunion, please stand up so we can recognize you. At the other end of the spectrum, there is a group of alumni who never misses reunion. They cannot get enough of this place. This is a group called the Con Continuous Reunion Club, or the CRC, and they are celebrating their 107th anniversary this year. So would all members of the CRC please stand up and be recognized. Alumni from the professional schools also join us on campus each year, so please welcome home our alumni from the Johnson School, the Law School, and the Veterinary College. We're pleased that the Cornell Asian Alumni Association, also known as CAAA, is joining us as they do every three years, so let's welcome back CAAA. The Cornell Native American Alumni Association, or CENA, is also back this year, and let's welcome them as well. Now, it's my honor to note that among our alumni ranks, we have many veterans from World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and some of the more recent international conflicts. So I'd like to ask for all the veterans in attendance to please stand up and be recognized. <laughs> a 
Alumni from all over are back this year, representing 46 of the 50 states. So the four states not represented, <laughs> Arkansas, Mississippi, North Dakota, and interestingly, for the second year in a row, no South Dakota. So the admissions office has asked. <laughs> we have bad information, all right. All right, we've redeemed South Dakota, that's good. All right, we also have alumni back from countries all over the globe. Does anybody want to take a guess how many countries are represented here this weekend? All right, I, ha I haven't heard it, but uh, just, just to give you a, a, a comparison, last year there were 22 countries represented at Reunion Weekend. This year there are 35. And, and, I'm not, and I'm not including the U.S. in that, so it's 36 with the U.S. So the countries represented, because I think we, we, we always run the risk we've missed one, okay? Australia, Brazil, Canada, Cayman Islands, Chile, China, Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, Czech Republic, Ecuador, France, Germany, Hong Kong, Hungary, India, Israel, Italy, Japan, Korea, Luxembourg, Mexico, Netherlands, Norway, Pakistan, Peru, Poland, Singapore, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Taiwan, Thailand, Ukraine, United Kingdom, the United States, and Venezuela. Did I miss any countries represented here tonight? Yeah. <laughs> New Jersey's not a country, but thank you. Um, I also want to mention we got a text from our good friend Rose uh, Tanasagern, who's class of 90, who is watching us right now eating breakfast in Japan via webcast. So let's uh, welcome Rose. So at, at this time in the program, we pay special tribute to our most senior alumni classes, starting with the most recent graduates in that group. So celebrating their 55th reunion, the class of 1958 has 100 classmates. Please stand up and be recognized. <laughs> Celebrating their 60th reunion, the class of 1953 is back with 107 classmates. Where are they? The class of 1948 is celebrating its 65th reunion, and they have 40 classmates here this weekend. Please stand up if you're here. The class of 1943 is celebrating their 70th reunion and 13 classmates have returned to celebrate. I'm gonna read the, thir the 13 names. Jerry Batt, Abe Brook, Barbara Kate, Ruth Frank, Roy Herman, Bobby Johnson, Shigeo Kondo, Clyde Lofridge, Firth Perryman, Allie Raisler, Stephen Teeter, Ed Wagner and Edie Weinberger. If you're here, please. Uh... Okay. Now, amazingly, for our 13th consecutive year, Cornell is welcoming back a 75th reunion class. From the class of 1938, please join me in welcoming John Clement, Mimi Faulkner, and Bettina Frost. And I...
And now back to some music. Thank you. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the, we we're going to repeat two pieces from our concert last night. The first is Samuel Barber's uh, setting of the James Stevens poem, The Coolin. It's a love song. You don't have the, the text in your program, but I think you'll be able to understand them. And the second is a song in the Xhosa dialect of South Africa. Uh, and again, I don't think it needs a translation because it's just a happy love song. This is uh, The Coolin and Nandi Hleli.
Thank you, John. I'm now pleased to announce the final results for reunion attendance and reunion campaigns for 2013. As of 7 p.m. tonight, a total of 4,334 alumni returned to campus this year. In total guests, we have 5,847 alumni, family, and friends registered for Reunion 2013. Let's give yourself a round. The 2013 reunion campaigns have raised $72.6 million from 6,293 reunion class members, including a new reunion record of 728 Tower Club members. Let's give ourselves a round. We're also proud to share that of this year's donors, 74% have become members of the 1865 Society, which is Cornell's newest giving society celebrating loyal donors who have given at least two consecutive years. I know a lot of numbers after 9 o'clock at night can be tough, so and we know you're all really here just for the singing anyway, so um, we've asked the Glee Club and Chorus to sing the fundraising results to you. <laughs> with a caveat that not all the details could fit in because the lines wouldn't rhyme with a... So um, for the full report, check your program, but otherwise, John, take it away. Okay, so we learned that there is one record that was broken this weekend. The record from the, was broken by the class of 2008, who has 740 classmates returning this weekend. They have smashed the fifth year reunion, re, reunion attendance record that was previously set by the class of 2007. So to the 2008. Thank you all, everyone here at Bailey, everyone in call, and everyone watching by webcast for joining us tonight and celebrating alumni, students, faculty, staff, parents, friends, and everyone else who makes the Cornell family. Once again, the Glee Club and Chorus, thank you. They've been partying a bit. We have a special treat tonight, uh, a barbershop quartet featuring our very own uh, Zach Hempstead, Adam Beckwith, Mike Gross, and uh, Nate McEwen singing a song Cornell is singing, the music of which was written 
by Edwin Kilborn, class of 42, and the words of which were written by his sister, Sylvia Kilborn Hosey, class of 48, who I understand is here with her daughter, Cynthia Hosey, 73. Are you here in the... They're here. So, Cornell is singing, this is for you. As I close my eyes and think back to a place that is so fond and true, Cornell is singing, I hear her still, upon the campus, upon the hill, the chimes are ringing from far above, fond memories bringing of songs of love, a thousand kitchens. Now fill my dreams, fill my dreams of fragrant woodlands, of rushing streams, rushing streams, the halls of learning, of all the friends I love so well. These are my memories of fair Cornell. Fair Cornell. Well, Cornell, the birds are waving today. I'm plunging down to the goal. See the ruddy banner stream. Far rings the story of the glory of Cornell. Cornell! Give my regards to Davy. Remember me to TV Gray. Let your glasses clink. A good excuse, I think. We'll cheer our hearts to victory, march on.
nursed by my mommy, but now I drink beer. <laughs>
What a spectacular evening, and I want to thank John Rawl and the Alumni Glee Club and Chorus for another fantastic, fantastic reunion. Thank you. Too bad they don't like him more. <laughs> I also want to thank my good friend and colleague and classmate Rob Rosenberg, whose term is ending as the president of the Cornell Association of Class Officers. Please join me in thanking and welcoming Rob for all he's done. So we've now come to that part of the evening where the people at home have to get off their couches and stand up in their living rooms. The people at Call Hall will stand, and all of you will stand for the evening song and the alma mater. Thank you for being here, and have a great evening. Oh.